Wow. There is a video that I've actually included in today's broadcast by Celestial where she's mentioning some very high celebrity couple names. You know, the first time that I had her mention, actually speaking about this prophecy, I remember I was actually getting my hair cut. I was right there getting my hair cut and then I had my earphones on. So this was probably like five or six months ago. And then I was just listening to her prophecy where she was talking about this couple, about how the arrest is going to be, how they're going to fall down. So immediately after that prophecy actually went online and I was checking on them, seeing if everything is okay with them or probably the arrest is happening at that time. But surprisingly, there was nothing shocking or happening at that moment. So without further ado, so speed the process. And right now, here comes 2024 in October. So their names have actually turned up in very sensitive quarters. I'm telling you, the Diddy case, like there are some people who are being mentioned as accomplice to the whole Diddy party thing and everything, would also the leak of what goes down in that DD party has been exposed in this video. So I'm telling you, this is quite a video. This is quite a video. Just the, just for the shock of things that are happening behind closed doors, but now are getting into the light. So part of this video is a prophecy that is fulfilled, definitely, but also is just to let you know of what is going on right now. So if it's your first time probably coming across this platform or for whatever reason you've always been watching the content but you have never taken the next step of hitting on that subscribe button, I kindly request that you hit on that subscribe button today. It's actually free of charge but it is one of the best decisions that you can do in helping us build this amazing beautiful family where we want you to be part of it so i kindly request that you hit on that subscribe button so let me just give you a moment right there like three seconds for you to hit on that subscribe button so in three two and one thank you thank you so much and also i want to extend uh, my gratefulness to all the subscribers all those who have been with me uh, since day one, since day two, since day three, since whatever day you joined the family, even those who joined ac actually at this very moment when you're watching this broadcast, I just want to send my, uh, I just want to send my greetings to you, my love to you, my hugs to you, and to welcome you to this beautiful family. This is Chris Baraka and family, and we are such a beautiful family where Jesus is the head. So. Without further ado, today's video is quite, quite something. So let us get in the video and then we'll get back and just talk more about it. Let's get in the video. Um, and being taught to be a just avoid him, honey. It's not good enough. Not when you live through these things, you're still suffering the PTSD created by all of this. And you're talking to a victim that's 20 years younger than you. And she's telling you the exact same thing that happened to you. So you want to know why there's no vindication for me? Mm. Because for four years, I've been screaming, not just Diddy, but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters. And the victim making machine kept going on. Jay-Z has been notable by his silence since uh, these charges were brought against Diddy. Why do you think that is? Because that's what he does. He starts little fires everywhere, forces everyone involved to go and carry water while he sneaks away without a response. That changes now, Sean. You must respond. You have no choice. Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, Robert Kelly, Sean Combs have one person in common professionally and privately. Sean Carter. This has been a fist of tyranny that has been punching through our culture and our society for decades it must stop famous celebrity yeah so 
So the couple I was talking about is Jay Z and Beyonce. Their names have started to turn up in very sensitive quarters. Like uh, this clip that I'm about to play for you is just a suspicion or an allegation. It's not a confirmed. Uh, it's not confirmed. In this next clip, the first one right there is uh, you've heard. You've heard on the expose. You've heard on the names that she has called out. So this one, just watch it. Clean here. Involved in the Diddy case. So like Justin Bieber is a victim. So there are so many videos that are going on right now. Probably you've come across them about Justin Bieber and uh, Didi and that whole uh, arrangement. How actually Bieber came in to join Didi and how Didi even bought the Lamborghini for Bieber and so many different things. If that's a video you can be interested in, probably you have not seen it. Just let me know. I'm willing to do that. So another person that is also mentioned here as an accomplice is J. Lo. So there is a detailed uh, prophecy about J. Lo that Celestial did some time back. So that is something that definitely will cover, will cover in due time. But she's also an accomplice. This uh, you've seen Rihanna might be a posi uh, possible victim. Jay Z right there, his name has started to turn up in these sensitive quarters. Just think about it. So he is now an accomplice. You can see that. So uh, we have right there that is Naomi Campbell. Uh, 50 Cent has always been, actually, he's been a whistleblower. That's like for sure. 50 Cent has always just been calling out different people and accusing them and saying this and that about that whole DD situation. Uh, Kanye West has been very vocal as well. Uh, Asha Raymond, a possible victim as well. Beyonce, possible accomplice as well. Mm, Cassie, Cassie is actually the one who brought all this into light when now she went forward and drew the case. So she might be a victim as well. We have Cuba Gooding, Aaliyah, Jaguar Wright, right there. Now that is the lady that is now opening up, opening up, and she's really revealing a lot of different things i'm telling you so this is the list this is just a list this this is not a confirmed list it's not a confirmed list but it's just uh this is just out of out of the allegations this is just made out of the allegations so there's this prophecy here that i'm shared on the screen it's called the fall of jay-z and beyonce idol idols will shatter in america and what the prophecy call is like so this one uh, is actually from the master's voice prophecy blog that is by celestial you can actually go and check it out by yourself so she did this five months ago such a time like uh these five months ago there was no dd scandal there was nowhere that may probably jay-z and beyonce had their names coming up in sensitive quarters for all those of you who always say that you know all this information is online she just speaks online okay tell me what uh uh did okay you, you can tell me what was that information that was online about the fall of jay-z and beyonce five months ago just let us know right there in the comment section all of those who you have always been saying that ah these prophecies are fake she just uh, gets this information online okay where exactly did she get them from and those of you who always say that you know uh this the prophecies that she gives she actually gets them from other prophets and then she's copy pasting and everything okay Sh share with me uh a prophet who said these things five months ago because i'm about to play you just a snippet of what she talked about five months ago uh, about this couple and then in relevance now to everything that is happening with the DD case and even their name coming up in sensitive quarters. And then I'll let you be the judge of that because there's no way that five months ago she, she mentioned these things and nothing was actually nothing seemed off about this couple. But right now their name is really coming up in sensitive quarters. I'm telling you the truth. So let me know about us. Uh, let me know about us. And for those who always say that 
you know celestia she's all about the trends what's happening those are the things that she talks about tell me what was trending about the fall of jay-z and beyonce five months ago that she spoke about that is actually be getting relevant as the day goes by just let me know about that you know <laughs> Yeah, let me know about that right there in the comment section. I like to hear. Right, it's a long wearing trees. So this is a snippet. Just listen to this. But God says that even though these are massive trees that have attained such a large height, Jay Z and his wife Beyonce, God says that they're going to be cut down suddenly, and the sound that will make the sound of their fall will be so loud that the whole world will hear it. So this is going to be a scandal where. Forget about language barriers. Forget about if you're not in the USA. Everybody knows Jay-Z and his wife, Beyonce. The wife is definitely more famous than the husband. But God says that when they fall, it'll be like trees getting cut down suddenly in the forest with such a large, large thud that everyone will hear it. They will fall so hard that the sound will be heard around the world. So this will be a massive international scandal. They're going to come down with a thunderous shaking and everything will be in the opening, in the open. So when they're falling, there's definitely going to be a fight. The fight may not take place in public, but a thunderous shaking, just basically think of two elephants going at it in a small enclosure. Even if the enclosure is fenced off and you were not allowed to witness the fight, God is saying that there's going to be a massive fight put up to keep these people where they are. There's going to be so much resistance and whatever happens, but with a shaking, everything is going to eventually tumble out into the open. A disaster, he says, and a merciless scandal in which all their crimes will be exposed. So listen to the Holy Spirit speaking. All their crimes will be exposed. To hear the beehive tell it, Beyonce is formed from angel dust and glitter. She has no crime. She's not capable of anything bad. How can we ever say that the queen, Queen Bey, can do something wrong? But here God is not saying, and their crime, or their infraction, or the one time that they slipped up and did something will come out. God is saying that there's going to be a massive tussle to hide a number of crimes, but all those crimes are going to tumble out into the open. He says everything about them will come out. So everything about them will come out. So this stacks up perfectly with the little aside that I gave in the beginning when I said that you as a viewer think you know people and yet you're watching years and years and years of the company protecting their asset because Beyonce is an asset and Jay-Z is an asset. These are assets that, for instance, you can use them as lifestyle influencers. Whatever they endorse, people will want to buy. Whatever they do, people will want to follow. If you believe this six year old. Wow, what a prophecy. What a prophecy right there. That, uh, that prophecy was shared five months ago. Just think about it. That was five months ago. Right now, their names is coming up in very sensitive quarters. We've already started to hear the names now in this DD case. So definitely over time, let's see how everything unfolds because there's quite a bunch. There's a list of different people named on, on, on that case. The six-year-old boy was once a guest at Diddy's infamous white party. The disgraced mogul has his arm draped around a young Justin Levtosky back in 1999. Justin is now 31 and tells Inside Edition about taking that photo. He put his arm around me in an uncomfortable way, close to... Um areas that you shouldn't as a as a grown man. He recalls what he saw at the party. So I remember marijuana um, and topless women. That's the two main things that I remember. So how'd he end up there? Well, his father, David Allen, was Diddy's photographer, snapping pictures of partygoers in the Hamptons. Justin's mom, Maya, was also there. She says the party was family friendly at first, but then turned raunchy. People were getting high. There were girls swimming topless, young looking girls that were, you know, not dressed. We moved to another part 
of the house so that he wouldn't be exposed um, to what was going on. In later years, Diddy implemented a curfew for children. The kids had like an hour left. So get extra comfortable, but this thing turns into something that when y'all get older, y'all don't want to come to. I think he's a monster. Bishop T.D. Jakes was mentioned, and it was made very clear of this man's sexual proclivities and why God does not see him as fit to hold any religious office. Not only that, in those prophecies, God said that we are going to enter the era of hard evidence. God said that hard evidence is going to come out, tying some of the most famous people to some of the most heinous crimes. And the Lord said that by the time he's finished with celebrities in this country, you who get your breath and your life from celebrities are going to feel quite vomitous because there's going to be an abundance and an overabundance of hard evidence of what they do. And right now we are smack in the middle of the arrest, the very public global arrest, and the very public now unsealed indictments of Mr. Sean Puffy P. Diddy Combs, a man who has spread out his wings to cover more crimes than even was named in the Jeffrey Epstein case. He is in the same prison that Jeffrey Epstein is being held in. And at this time, exactly as God said, he's not only being put under monitoring, he is also currently under suicide watch. And the Holy Spirit had said some months ago that because of how much evidence this man has, but also because this is a kind of man who cannot stand to be away from his opulent lifestyle, cannot stand to be away from being surrounded by his obliging, bootlicking, psychophantic friends. He cannot stand not being at the top. God said that this man would barely be able to stand the kind of lifestyle that he would be subjected to when he is arrested and put in jail as he has now been. He has been denied bail and he is sitting in a jail cell. And I want people to always understand that the reason God speaks about these people is not the reason that your so-called fake psychics who just popped up five minutes ago look strange. Why are these doing this shit on the road? See, it's the bonding experience. And then and then your real predatory people like the Diddy and them, they got somebody that's watching you on the road to see how far you're willing to go so when they bring you to the house. And the saddest part about it is these people aren't openly gay. They're forced to stay in the closet, which means they're forced to do what? Live a lie. You get, you get used to living one lie. You can live any lie. Let's be honest about Faith Evans. How does a woman with that much talent end up married to somebody like Stevie J? Really? <laughs> or maybe years ago you decided to be a hip-hop plant because you didn't think your light-skinned fat ass was ever going to get a real shot. And so you took that shot. You were a single mom and your back was up against the wall. Think about it from this angle. Everything we know. Ask me how much different faith life, her whole life look, career look. Diddy told her he was going to kill Biggie. She knew it was going to happen. She was purposefully not by her husband's side that night. It happened, and she was told she had to lie about it. And guess what? That lie held up until that boy turned 18, and he started having ideas of what he wanted to do with what he inherited because the paperwork was set up for Faith to not be able to see, receive a dollar from Biggie's state unless it was for little Christopher and she only had one child with Christopher the other children who required taking care of and feeding and all of that all of them couldn't be fed off of Christopher Wallace's money they weren't his kids see how that works right. I wonder what wow that is some some crazy crazy allegations right there some very crazy allegations against uh, Didi. So my prayer is just that uh, I pray that all the victims 
may they get uh, receive justice. Definitely what's done is already done, but the much that can be offered on this earth is just justice. You know, at least that is something. So that is just my prayer that at least uh, all the victims, may they just receive uh, the earthly justice. May they just receive it, you know, because uh, it's quite some crazy things that I've, that are actually just from, even from, the, the last video that I've played right there, you've just heard of those. Those are crazy, crazy allegations right there. Crazy allegations. And these are lies that people have actually lived with. These are people, some of them have really uh, faced very crazy uh, incidents or just the crazy things that have been done on them. But now they have to live with that in silence because of whatever that they were promised. You know, sometimes people do these crazy things because of desperations. Others do this because they want to attain a certain lifestyle. They want it very, very fast. And they think that is the only way. Because I know the entertainment industry is quite, quite a crazy industry. So... That's why my prayer is that may all the victims uh, receive earthly justice. May they receive it. So some of these things were done to them. Some they did, they did it. They actually did themselves. But now maybe they might be dragged or stuff like that. Just, be, just from what everyone is saying. If you pick a few here, you pick a few there, you'll get to understand uh, the whole picture of how those parties and all that used to happen, you know. Wow. Yeah, so I uh, would like to hear what you think about this video right there in the comment section. And uh, if it's your first time probably coming across this platform or you have been a follower, you've been watching the content, but actually you've never taken the step to hit on that subscribe button i kindly request today that you hit on the subscribe button so this is a platform that will open your eyes this is a platform that will really open your eyes i do eye opening content because the bible says that it's a wrap the days for ignorance is a wrap ignorance the days for ignorance it's a wrap no more ignorance no more staying ignorant so this is that platform that will have your eyes very very open so probably it's your first time coming across i kindly request that you hit on that subscribe button so let me give you three seconds uh for you to hit on that subscribe button so in three two and one so welcome to the family and also uh if you have not you have just watched the video and you have not uh, liked the video, I'm kindly asking that you like the video because once you like the video, YouTube is able to recommend this video to many more. And by doing that, also you'll be opening the eyes of many, many others. Probably right now, there is someone who is in the same position that probably one of these people who are victims of DD. So probably someone is in that position right now and he's about to make very, very wrong decisions. By, but by them watching this video, by them watching uh, and seeing how, how just everything is unfolding, everything, definitely they can decide to choose and, and be patient and make the right decisions. Because some of these things uh, on these victims, you know, it now even explains why sometimes you see artists uh, like these big celebrities end up in depression. Sometimes you see them really depressed. You see others committing suicide. You see others just living crazily. And you can't really tell. Others are alcoholic. You know, you just really can't tell like what is really affecting them. But sometimes you see that they choose to live with these lies. Sometimes you see that they made some very crazy, crazy, crazy uh, decisions for them to be where now they they are but now it's really really costing them a lot so 
Let me know what you think about this video right there in the comment section. There's a video I'm working on on the entertainment. It's just generally about the entertainment and uh, now the secular entertainment and how the devil runs it. You know, it's quite an expose by Erica Celestial. Like there's so much that's happening on that video. So it's a video that I'm really working on. So if you like, maybe we do that video as a live video because it's going to be quite a, an interesting video. But also it could have been more informative if we did a live on it and then we could just be talking uh, when probably now we're sharing on that on the same video and then it's a live video. So you get to, to also be part of it. If that's maybe if that could be the best way for us to do that video. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, it's a video I'm preparing very soon. I'll be able to share with you guys. But that one is quite, quite something. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure they hit the notification bell. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. Make sure you like the videos that I do. Make sure you hit always the like video. It's very, very important. So let me know what you think. Whether we do a live session on it or I just prepare it and then share with you once it's ready. Let me know what you think. But so far, stay blessed. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. And see you on the next video.